What is up, YouTubers? John's here, and welcome back to more Pokemon Diamond, the Hunger Games Edition. Now, the rules are, if a Pokemon faints, I cannot bring it back. Well, I can kind of bring it back, but only five times. That is it. Then, I can never bring anyone back again. And I can only capture one Pokemon of its species, so... Say if I captured a Bidoof... And then there's a bee barrel coming around. I cannot capture the bee barrel. Even if I haven't even evolved my bee bee doof yet. It it just doesn't count. It has to also be in its evolution chain. Which kinda of brings me to the point why I bring up a bee doof. Because if you see in my little Pokedex in my Pokemon list here, my team is up to level eight. But you guys remember I had Flurmph on my team. While I was training, unfortunately, he fainted, and I am counting it. It is, it is te technically still a part of this whole series. I didn't get it on camera because it was happening during while I was at school, but I thought I'd at least have a little ceremony for it to happen. So, I'm going to turn on the music here and let the music start playing now. It's time to say goodbye to one of our little teammates, even though we just got things started. Ah, Florinf, you had so much potential of being our HM slave. Man, it also sucked too, because he had like, the reason how this happened, it was I was up against another Bidoof. I was at 10 HP when I started, so I'm like, oh, okay, I'll be fine. Two crits in a row. Two crits in a row. And that's how Flurmph died. He really deserve- he didn't deserve to get two critted in a row. I mean, that's- that's just dumb. I mean, uh... It's just... You just had so much to go for, Flurmph. I really wish we could have kept you around for a little while. Well... Bye, Flurmph. Well, I hope you guys liked the little music I decided to add in. Because, um... Oh, wait, shoot. Uh, <laughs> for that, I might as well move this back to the box one. So I don't accidentally put any in the rip box. But, uh, yeah. It was kind of hard training. I had some pretty close calls. I feel like this is going to be the... Hunger Games where a lot of Pokemon die, unfortunately. But yeah, it wasn't even in the higher routes. I did decide to train up there a little later, but it happened over here on in Route 201, which really sucked. Alrighty, so I think to start us off, I'm going to have Johns the Junior because he's probably one of the strongest. Ginger is probably the second strongest. Rick is okay. And Cuckoo, uh, not sure, because literally the only moves that it knows is Growl and Bide. And the only time it learns, it doesn't learn any other moves until it evolves. Luckily, its next evolution is coming up soon, which is like level 10. I guess it's not too bad that we lost Flurmph, just because I feel like he would have been used for HM Slave anyways. Not really much for anything else. Uh, and I have Max Repel, so let's go. I'll probably just... Maybe see if I can run. Probably. I mean, I'm a good level. Alrighty. So, probably first trainer battle. Okay, no, we already did him, I guess. And you? We already did trainer battles with you guys? Oh, well. You know what? Even though... Uh, why do you have to taunt me with a Bidoof? Oh, whatever. Anyways, Ember. Uh, oh, almost. I gotta say, Cricketot is one of the hardest Pokemon to train with, to be honest, because with only knowing Bide, you have to make sure the Pokemon is just at a good, strong set that you won't get, that you won't die from it, and you can actually take, give it some good damage with Bide. If you can't do that, then, oh, uh, jeez, you might be screwed there, buddy. Alright, so I think we're up against another battle. Yes. Let's have a Pokemon battle. I bet I'll win. Alrighty. I might as well show off these first couple battles because, I mean, the first one's in the game. We've barely gotten through this yet. 
Alright, so he's bringing out Shanks, which is level 5. The highest level that we've seen so far. I'm probably just going to have John Ju Johnza Jr. do some of this most fight in because he's pretty strong. And there. And I think some of the other Pokemon that are coming up I'll have to evolve by happiness, which kind of sucks. Alrighty. Alright, Jones of Juniors up to level 9, that's good. Taunts? That's a terrible move, Jones of Junior. I wouldn't. Uh, 80 bucks. Alright, I'm. Two steps. Two steps. Hey, are you itchy? I'll need scratch on you to get that itch. Oh, I guess it was too powerful. He died from uh, being scratched, apparently. <laughs> When you scratch it, it can be so deadly. Uh, anyways. Alright, may pass there. Uh, I think you might be trying to... Ooh. Going for it. Got a potion. Good, I've wasted two during my training. Ah, oh, good, I made it out. Onwards! Uh, look, it's our good friend Don. Hi, Junza. Are you catching Pokemon? Wow, you already caught four Pokemon with you. I did have five, but one of them... Uh, that... He couldn't make it that far. He didn't even make it to the next route, Don. He didn't even make it to the next route. Ah. Okay, anyways. At that pace, your Pokedex should be full in no time at all. In Jubilee the City, there are trainers' schools, which, well, you know. Jonza, you should visit. You'll get some tips on Pokemon. Oh, yes, Barry won... Went to the trainer school earlier. Okay, bye now. So yeah, uh, of course you want to go meet up with Barry. But before we do that... Uh, let's go here quickly. Alrighty, so I kind of wanted to put a pause on that. Because I wanted to go up this way. And uh, yeah, because there are some new... Uh, there's grassy area over here, so I'll probably just stick around here and see if maybe we can capture some new Pokemon. Um, I think there's at least maybe one or two. Uh, definitely not Starly. But they should be a lot more tougher over here, too, so. Alright, so I'm probably going to keep searching by back and forth until I see if I can find a certain Pokemon. There we go, there's a new one, Badoo. Now, Badoo evolves only by happiness. Now, what I might do, of course, is go back near the beginning again and uh, just go and fight some of the other Pokemon from before to actually get this one trained up. I'm not going to use Ember because that's going to one-shot you. Probably just go for a scratch. Okay, one more. Oh, shit. Poison Point. Ooh, now I really want you. Oh, you have absorb too. At least now I know I won't really. I mean, okay, one hit point. That's. Okay, scratch one more time. Okay. Should be good. And I'm pretty sure all you know is the absorb right now. Still, that poison point. That is very useful. Okay, I'm definitely going to heal right after this, but let's hopefully catch it in the Pokeball, please. I'd like it if you would stay in the Pokeball, sir. There we go, we got the two. Alright, so, um... So we got to give you, like, a normal name, like a kind of person name, or, you know what people would normally give names, so... What do we have so far? We have... Giants of Junior, Wolfarmstead, uh... There's Ginger, Rick, and Cuckoo. So what can we nickname you? Uh... Nah, you know what? 
I have a perfect name for you. Bill. It actually suits you because you're a guy. Yeah, the only reason my screen's bugging out like that is because that's what happens when you're poisoned. Also, if you run around for a while before healing anything, um, and the poison wears off, it'll only bring your uh, Pokemon. Oh. Survive the poison, the poisonous fade away. Yeah, that's normally what happens. And look, it only puts you down to 1 HP. Yeah, it's kind of deadly. Silent but deadly. At least with, uh, if we can keep this one alive, for sure, if we can keep Bill alive till we get to the first gym, then that'll be a lot handy, because with grass types, they're super effective against the rock types in the first gym, so having Badoo is also pretty good. Um... Yeah, because all my other Pokemon are kind of bad against that gym. Uh, I don't know if I want to go right... Fuck. Why do you taunt me with this being? Oh, shit. Yeah, I ain't going back up here afterwards. I might, this might be an interesting battle, so I'll keep fighting. I'll just show it, I guess. Haha! -ha! Now the foe has been hit with an ability like for mine. You got burned, sucker. Ember, one more time. You got wrecked. Sorry if I was also staying quiet. I'm kind of used to being quiet sometimes. And there we go. Johnson Jr. is up to level 10. I don't even know how I'm going to train Cuckoo here. Oh boy. I might just try to train some of the others and not him. Uh, okay, well, I might as well, well, maybe not go to the school yet. Alrighty, so I'm thinking we bring Bill up front first, see how things go against, uh, Barry, because I feel like he might, we might have to battle him. I don't know. But we can e easily switch if we need to. Come here to study, I, uh, I, I don't know if we have to actually fight right now. Here's your parasol. And a town map. Thank you for the extra town map. Hornburg City is where we want to go next. It's the gym. Well, time to see you around. So, uh, yeah, I think the route to Orberg City is now... Oh. oh. Oh, oh, oh! Call yourself a Pokemon trainer, and yet you have have no Poketch? Oh yeah, that thing. I almost forgot that was in that. So it will be a useful tool that you can use within this entire series. Uh, Poketch, Ping Ping, all you have to do is find the three clowns of Jubilee City. Uh, and you find them, I will gift you. Okay. Here's one clown. Can a Pokemon hold an item? Yes. Oh, I got I got coupon number three. Okay. Here's clown number two. Uh, just like Pokemon types, the moves of Pokemon also have types. I mean, obviously. Thank you for coupon number two. Jeez, I'm going in the opposite order, aren't I? Oh? 
There's a GTS system here, too? Huh, eh, weird. Ah, here he is. He was right by the man himself. Does a Pokemon grow by defeating others and gain experience points? Yes. So all the questions have been yes. Your questions suck. Got coupon one. Yo, give me my Poketch now. Alright, so now it's on the bottom screen. So as you can see, it already has a time thing. So after he's done talking, don't you try it out. Okay, so I'm going to take the hair that's on it. Alright, so if you hit the button here, you can also turn it into a calculator. Um, I think this is steps. Yeah, it's steps recorded, so you can always keep an eye on your steps. This, this really helps when you're trying to hatch eggs. Then you can uh, figure out how many steps they need, and then just keep going the mile until you know how much they need. Um, and then here's your Pokemon status. Of which, of how much health they have. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back to the first one, or that last one. So I can always keep an eye on their health, just in case. And then I think next is, yeah, because now you can enter here. And it looks like we can already have a battle with Barry. Uh, I don't know if I want to battle him yet. That's a thing. I mean, I don't think they expect you to get to level 8, but I don't know. I'll give it a try. I swear to God, this is like the end of the series now. Alright. Alright, so he only has two. Oh, shit, Starly. That may not be good for what I'm... It's level 7. Ugh, barf. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm definitely switching. Um, let's go... Mmm. Oh, Cuckoo would definitely get hurt. I don't know, Johnson Jr. probably seems like the best bet. It's probably it's not like I'm gonna probably face this next Pokemon. Because it's pretty much a Piplup anyway, so it's gonna be Okay, so it's just a quick attack. Okay, barely any damage on me, Ember. I just wanted to have Badoo up front, or Bill up front first, so he can get some experience. I know they're only going to take half experience now, but still. Oh, you're not going to use a full, or a potion, are you? Okay, good. Nice, level 5 already. Alright, yeah, see, Peplop's next. Um, you know what, I'll bring up Bill again, just because his type is good. But, is it good enough against... Because he is only level 5. To his level 9. Do I want to risk it? That's the question indeed. I'm risking it. I'm risking it. Pound. Okay. Okay, good, 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 good. And it got hit with the po poison pout, or whatever. Absorb. I still doubt I'm gonna win this with Bill, so I might still have to switch. Yeah, I only got a little bit. Or, actually, maybe, maybe, maybe. Okay, it's using Growl, so that's going to lower my attack. As long as it doesn't have a Flying-type move, it should be good, because that's... Pip-Up can learn a Flying-type move, like Peck. Okay. And I get healed up back to full so far, almost. And added in with the Poison. I might, I might actually win this with Bill and get a crazy ton of AXP. And I'm going first! Oh, and that was a crit! Oh, it wasn't. Oh, but still. That was very powerful, though. And the poison's gonna kill you. 
Bill. Bill. Bill, not in your mom's a guy. Instant level up. Oh, baby. Bill. Oh, my God. Level 7? Level 7? Water spout. Well, that's not really helpful for me, but, you know. In about a quarter. In about an extra quarter. Yeah, you just got owned by Bill. Bill, you rock. Aw. I was hoping that he actually evolved just because of that. That'd be actually pretty cool if he did. Uh, what do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. That's the last time I'll ever lose. I'm going to ha have to be the world's toughest trainer. You know it. Uh, or Brick City Pokemon Gym. Okay. So, um... Okay, so there's more up there. I'm going to keep Bill up front for now, since he does still have full HP. I do want to see if I can get another Pokemon here. I don't know what the level is for here. Okay, but there that is. Uh, Abra, which is level 5. It no oh, the only move it knows is Teleport. So it's pretty hard to train, actually, if it can't even attack. But, if you can get it the first try. I'm only going to try this once. If not, I'm going to wait till later and come back for the Abra later. It doesn't work the first time. Because after if you don't use it the first time, it's just going to teleport away. So. And... Ah! Shit! Teleport. Okay. You know what? I'll give it one more try. Just because that looked close. And I, it's mostly because I don't want to waste all my Pokeballs. That's the thing. Uh, Cricketot. Also, if you have a Cricketot versus Cricketot, it's a pointless battle because they their bites won't work unless the other one attacks, and the only other move they know is growth. Or growl or something like that, which is just... It's not even worth it. <laughs> Alright, one more try with... Okay, good. Abra. Level 5 again. Bill 9, your mom's a guy. Okay, I'm gonna try Pokeball one more time. If this does not work, I am gonna wait till I get a little bit better. Two, three, yes! Alright, I made the right call. I made the right call. Alrighty. You're still gonna be hard to train, though. Abra. Alright, what to call you? Uh... Two hours later. You know what? I think I got a good name for it. Uh... Sam. <laughs> there we go. Well, now we finally have a full team here. I mean, look at this team. Half of them are males, half of them are females. Alright, so already I feel like we probably need to stick around and do some training. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing in between the videos. But uh, for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like this video, press the like button or subscribe to whatever. And I will see all you dudes in the next video. See you dudes next time. Bye ya! Uh...